Hi to all of you. Good evening and very welcome in this amazing YouTube session of ODA. So I'm your master teacher Rahul Bhardwaj and we are going to continue the topic of number patterns. I hope all of you guys are doing so great in your life and I hope you are excited to learn something new today. Right? So in the previous session, we have learned about the number patterns. What are number patterns? Right? What is a rule? and how we can use the same rule to find the solution of the number patterns. That was one very interesting and amazing and easy topic. Do you agree with me that this is an easy topic only, right? And yes, I have told you that this is the favorite topic for Olympiads. All the kids who are preparing for Olympiads, they know about this part that this is one of the most important part of the Olympiad papers and that is why in today's session we are going to focus on the Olympiad questions. In the previous session we have learned about the basics of number pattern. I will give you a quick recap if you have not seen the previous video you can watch that link you will be finding in the description box. Okay right yeah let us start the session. My name is Rahul Chaudhary Bhardwaj. I have more than four years of teaching experience. I have mentored more than 25,000 students. And today I am also going to teach you, right? So we are in the YouTube session right now. We also have ODA app. We have ODA application for the mobile phones. You can download that from the Play Store. So many amazing features you will be getting there, right? So many classes we are having, we are conducting on daily basis you can just get the access to all those free classes in the ODA app. So yes, you can download the ODA app and talking about the bridge course program, I am telling you this part again and again because this is something really nice. This is the best thing that we are having in ODA, right? A trial class program for one week wherein we will be teaching you some really amazing concepts on maths and science, something which you are not learning anywhere else. So if you also want to experience that, if you also want to witness that, this bridge course program is for you. To enroll in the program, you can simply use this link. This link is already available in the description box. Right after the class, you can enroll yourself in that bridge course program. I will give you a reminder also. Don't worry. I will give you a reminder at the end of the session as well. Okay. So are we good to go now? Are we good to start? I believe all of you guys have joined us by now, right? So yeah, let's just start the session. So talking about the number pattern, this thing we have learned in the previous session, a mathematical pattern or what we say a number pattern is a collection that repeats or grow according to a rule. So when we are talking about number patterns or mathematical patterns, it is just a collection of numbers. We have few numbers over there and those numbers are not the random numbers. Those numbers, they follow a particular logic. We call this rule. Okay, that logic we call as a rule, right? Now, depending upon the rule, those numbers, they either keep on repeating again and again or they grow as per the rule right i believe this part is clear we have learned already what are number patterns giving you a few examples this example also we have taken in the last session right so over here i have number 18 15 12 9 6 3 these are not the random numbers yes this is a collection of number but all the numbers that we have over here they are not random numbers they are following a particular logic a rule is there and if you will observe closely, you will find that each time, every time we are subtracting number three, you will notice that each time we are subtracting number three to get the next number. Okay. So this minus three that we are doing in all the cases, this is the logic. This is the rule for this particular pattern. And all that you have to do to solve the number pattern question is only this. You simply have to identify the logic. That's it. And use the same logic to find either the missing number or the next number. That's it. 
Consider one more example. The second example that we have over here. 11, 17, 23, 29, 35, 41, 47, 53. Right? So can you just identify what is happening over here? Are we adding something, subtracting something, multiplying something, dividing something? It could be anything. That is your only work which you have to do. You have to identify what is happening. All the numbers that are over here, what is happening to them? Are they repeating? Are they growing? Whatever is happening that you have to identify. And when you will identify the logic, the rule, the same rule you have to apply and use to solve the question. That's it. Okay. So basic thing we have learned in the previous session. I will start this session with one very basic question. Because after that question, every question will be from Olympiad. Right. So just to make you guys comfortable, I am going to start with this one very simple, one very easy question. So you can see that we have number 120, 122, blank, 126, 128, blank, 132. And what we have to do? We simply have to find the missing numbers. We have to uh, fill the blanks that we have over here. How to do that, Rahul, sir? How to do that? I don't know. You don't know how to do this? Well, let me help you because I can see some of you guys are here for the first time. Let me tell you how this is going to work. Right. So all the numbers that we have over here, first of all, you need to find a relation between them. You need to see how the things are working. Right. So if you will pay a close attention, you will see that over here I am adding number two. Am I right or not? 120 plus two, 122. Right. Let's just confirm this part because one thing alone won't work. Let's just reassure ourselves that, yes, this is something which we are looking for. So we can try this as well. 126 plus 2. Oh, now, now, wow, now I have got some confirmation that yes, plus 2 is something which we are going to do over here. Right? Let's follow this thing only. So now what we have done, we have identified the rule. What is the rule here? We are adding number 2. Right? So the two things are there which you need to do. The first one, identify the rule that we have done already. And the second thing is, you have to use the same rule to solve the given question. The rule I have got, I will be using the same rule to solve the question, right? Over here also, plus two, it will become 130. So option A is the right answer. If you guys have understood this, you can give me some thumbs up in the chat box, okay? If you have understood this, you can give me some thumbs up in the chat box, okay? Really nice. Let's do one more question now. Fill in the blanks again. So now we are starting with the blank. Then we have 12, 14, 16. Again a blank. Right? Let's, let's start by finding the rule only. Right? 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 2, 16. Right? Continue like this only. Continue like this only. And it will become 16 plus 2, 18. So yes, this number will be 18. Okay, I have found this. This number will be 18. But what about the starting one? Shall I do like this? 12 plus 2, 14. Shall I go like this? No. Okay, we have to go in a one particular direction. If I'm going like this only, left to right, I have to go like this only. Then how to identify what will come in the first place, in the first blank? So the rule is going to help me. Everywhere the rule is going to help me. The rule says that we are adding number 2 to get the next number. All you have to do is think which number, which number is there. If I will add 2 in that will give me 12. Only one number is there. In which if you will add 2, it will give you 12 as the answer. And that number is 10. So 10 plus 2, 12, and 16 plus 2, 18. So option C would be the right answer. Understood? Easy peasy, right? All you have to do, identify the rule. That's the only thing you need to do, identify the rule. Right? Let's do one more question. All the questions are the Olympia level questions. You can expect them. One thing I can tell you, they are going to be easy. If you are focused, they are going to be very easy. 
right so here we have the next question for you what will be the next number in this pattern so i have 5 10 20 40 80 what will come next that is the question for you so i think some of you guys have understood already that adding won't work here right it might work for you guys right it might work for you but i am here to tell you one very easy way to solve the question there are multiple ways to solve a question and i am here to tell you the easiest way which you can learn instantly right so in place of going like this 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 40 80 you guys might be confused what is happening over here every time we are adding a new number and rahul sir has not taught us like that that we are adding or subtracting different different numbers every time we are either adding or subtracting the same number only so let's just uh, you know uh, change our approach to solve the question addition and subtraction are not the only two operations in mathematics we have two more operations right let's try with multiplication so 5 into 2 double the number it would be 10 double the number again 20 20 into 2 40 40 into 2 80 so i will move like this only 80 into 2 this you can find right 80 into 2 you can do it would be 160 that is the answer olympiad question but so easy to solve only if you are paying attention in the class right okay now the next question this question is particularly my favorite question okay because there's so many times kids they are just confused what to do and when i show them that this is the way they think like oh my god this was the easiest question to do right so yes olympiad questions they are tricky they are not difficult they are tricky if you know the trick you can crack that in this question also you just need to identify what is happening over here right so 10 plus 10 is 20 then 20 minus 8 is 12 12 plus 8 20 20 minus 6 14 14 plus 6 20 if you want to continue like this you can do that it's up to you you can continue like that plus 10 then we have minus 8 plus 8 minus 6 plus 6 next time it would be minus 4 plus 4 then minus 2 plus 2 we can continue like that right but apart from this option i am going to teach you one more approach which will be helpful in so many other questions as well if you want to do like that you can do that but you will be able to solve only this question with this approach i am going to teach you one generalized approach which can be used for all these kind of questions i'm sure you want to learn that right i'm sure you want to learn that so let me give you let me show you that approach that particular approach which will help you right so just as uh, you know just imagine that these numbers are here 10 20 12 20 40 20 okay guys can you see that one number is repeating again and again can you see that one number is just repeating the number 20 is just repeating every other number every alternative number is 20 only every alternative number is 20 only so i can tell you one thing for sure if i have to find next two numbers the second number is going to be 20 only because i can see that the number 20 is repeating patterns either grows or repeat so this number 20 is repeating after every second number right so it means i only need to focus on the rest of the numbers now let's forget about 20 and forget and focus on only the remaining numbers so 10 plus 2 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 i will continue like this only 14 plus 2 16 the next number is going to be 16 that is how i can get the answer that is how i can get the answer are you guys able to follow me are you guys able to follow me okay let's do one more question and then we will end the class right let's do one more question so what will be the next number in this pattern i want you guys to focus on this question olympiad question this is so all that we have to do is focus on 
how the numbers are progressing how the numbers are progressing 7 10 15 22 31 there are multiple ways of solving a question it's not that you have to follow my method only if you have a better method you are good to go with that okay so let's do one thing okay let me let me use the method which you are getting in your mind right now i know what you are thinking right now so this is 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 7 22 22 plus 9 31 I'm sure this is how you are uh, thinking to solve the question, right? And this, this will not take much brain to understand that I am adding odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers I am adding, starting from number 3, then 5, then 7, then 9, right? So next number that I will be adding would be the next, cons next odd number. After 9, I will add number 11. So 31 plus 11, 42 is the answer. Option D is the right answer. 42. Okay. So yes, multiple ways are there to solve the question. If you want to use my way, you can use that. But if you are having some other methods in your mind, you can do that. Because ultimately, the final answer is going to matter. Right. So that was all for this session, guys. Before I end the session, okay, let me just remind you guys again about the ODA app where you can uh, explore a lot of things right a lot of classes are there you can get the access to all the classes you can come in our live classes how the teacher is teaching in the live class what features you will be getting in the oda app so many things are there to explore that you have to download the app so download the app from the play store and yes do not forget about the bridge course bridge course starts on every monday and this is one very amazing program which is going to tell you the actual way how you should be learning, right? In those six days, we will be teaching you very amazing, very interesting things which no one else is teaching you, right? Don't believe my word. Just go and uh, experience it yourself. Then you will realize. To, to, to enroll yourself in the bridge course, you can use this link which is already there in the description box, okay? Use that. Download the app on so many coins and you can redeem these amazing gifts. Okay, that will be all for this session, guys. If you have liked the video, like, subscribe, and yes, do come in my next session as well, in which I am going to teach you about the alphabetical patterns. I'll see you guys in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.